Hello, I'm Tara Capuano. Welcome as ESPN Classic presents the 1994 college basketball matchup between Arizona and California. This game featured two future NBA Rookies of the Year in Cal's Jason Kidd and Arizona's Damon Stoudemire. Also in this game, Lamont Murray played for the Golden Bears, Khalid Reeves played for the Wildcats. Arizona entered the game with a 12-1 record. The Wildcats only lost a one-point loss to Kentucky. California had a 9-2 record. The Bears played their first 11 games without two injured starters, K.J. Roberts and Alfred Grigsby. Cal entered the game on a seven-game win streak. Ahead in the game, we'll introduce you to Cal's Jason Kidd. We'll offer you some classic trivia, and we'll look back at some great games between Arizona and California. Now let's head out to Cal and Arizona from 1994, only on ESPN Classic. It's a 90s version of the changing of the guard. He's quick, smart, defends, passes, shoots, and generally creates mayhem. Tonight, he's center stage. California's Jason Kidd could be in his own class. Lou Olson himself says the best he's seen since Magic Johnson. He does things on a basketball court that just can't be done. Here it is, there it goes. Kidd just isn't kidding. And what about Arizona's Khalid Reeves? He went through an entire week where he missed all of two shots from the field and provides a four aspirin headache to opponents. Make that eight aspirins. David Stoudemire teams with Reeves for 43 points, eight boards, and nine assists a game. Give it up for the guards tonight. Number 22, Ray Cole. Barry Tompkins with Paul Sunderland back at the McHale Center here in Tucson as we prepare for the start of the game between California and Arizona. First of all, for the visitors from Berkeley, Anwar McQueen in these lineups brought to you by Donna Renicar will get the start. He is just a freshman out of Washington, D.C. Some big shoes to fill in those of K.J. Roberts with Jason Kidd, about whom you already know and will know more when, before this night is over. Jamison Buckley and Lamont Murray has been scoring a 30-plus clip. Todd Bozeman in his second year at California, a most enviable record, 20 up and four down since taking over for Luke Campanelli. Ironically, after the Arizona game here in Tucson last year. As to the Wildcats of Arizona, Reggie Gary will be a key player for them. In fact, Lute Olsen feels the most key player for them. If he gets in foul trouble, Arizona could be in trouble, according to Luke, because he draws Lamont Murray to defend. David Stoudemire, the point guard, although you can make a case for Khalid Reeves being interchangeable at that position with Stoudemire, the two have averaged 43 points a ball game with O's who can also score and Joseph Blair, about whom Paul Sunderland already told you. Lute Olsen in his 11th year here, not a bad record, 250 up and 81 down. Not bad. Ten years previous, been to the NCAA tournament nine times to the Final Four once. Unbelievable list of players who have gone through here and the quality program, and they're right back up there again. Only loss to Kentucky over in Hawaii by one point shot at the buzzer. We have talked about how tough this team is here at the McHale Center. They've now won 21 in a row again. As you can see, since the 87-88 season, 102 undefeated in six games at home this year and a pretty good disparagement between winning and losing here at the McHale Center. Wildcats are tough, and they score in bunches. They're the kind of team, like all the great teams, they are the kind of team that can really run it up in a big hurry. They did so against Arizona State in their Pac-10 Conference Open. Well, it's been a team of runs, and when you have a player like Jason Kidd, you can see he is ready to go here tonight. He can up the tempo, spread the floor, create on his own, and get it to other players. The key for Cal is who's going to score now that K.J. Roberts is on the sidelines. Lamont Murray's been averaging 31 over the last three games. He's going to have to get at least that to be competitive here at the McHale Center. Let's take a look at what California has done recently. They have been on a roll since starting out a little bit rocky. First five games, they only shot it at 42%. The last six, arguably against tougher competition. As a matter of fact, they've shot it at 55%. One of the big reasons is that Lamont Murray has set up on the low block and has found a home for scoring in that area. It also allows him a better shot when he does step out. And we are underway. Jamison controls the tip, and Stoudemire runs it down for the Wildcats. Challenge for Anwar McQueen, only a freshman out of Washington, D.C., coming in and having to guard him. And nothing along the baseline, and our man Reggie Geary starts it off. Reggie Geary, a guy who has made his mark here as a defensive player, shows you that he can play on both ends. Jason Kidd draws the call on Khalid Reeves, and likewise Reeves on Kidd. What they want to do with Jason Kidd is keep him out of the middle, push him to the sides. McQueen. be Arizona's ball. What a great matchup, Jason Kidd and Khalid Reeves. And, you know, Jason Kidd, 
not a great outside shooter last year. I think he has really improved and watch for that to come into this game because, again, players lean off him so far because they're afraid of his penetration getting beaten off the dribble. Talked about the week that Khalid Reeves had. He missed two shots in two games in a week, and he gets inside, missed that one. And O's tries for the follow, can't control it. It'll be California's ball. He's going to get all he wants defensively from Jason Kidd. Well, strong, physical. I mean, Jason Kidd is not just a quick ball handler. He's a piece of man at 6'4", 205. No, in fact, an opposing coach said about Jason Kidd, and I love this line, they said he's not a point guard, he's a pulling guard. <laughs> <laughs> Rightfully so, and he'll get after the loose ball if there is one. Lob for Jamison. Jamison couldn't control it. It'll be the Bears' ball. Hey, you and I get a chance to see a lot of players during the course of a college basketball season. Jason Kidd is simply something special. He just has the special flair for the game and plays so hard every minute he's on the court. Got a foul away from the ball. I think they got Buckley. Cal not in sync at all so far offensively. Todd Bozeman was working a lot in the shoot around against Arizona's changing, trapping full court, three quarter court defenses. That's not been the problem, but uh, they have not gotten good shots. Reeves working on Kidd. And the screen from O's forces the switch. We'll get the ball inside to O's with Jason Kidd guarding him. Nice deflection and the control of the ball by Lamont Murray. Plenty of time to get a better shot for Arizona. Well, Arizona averaging 98 points a game this year. There's the matchup. Reggie Geary out of Modern Day High School in Orange County. Very quick, maybe fashions himself a little bit like Michael Cooper, but he's only 6'2". Lamont Murray, 6'8", long arms. Lamont Murray needs to touch the ball down the low block this trip. Deny him the ball. That's what Geary hopes to do. There it is, and Geary's just too quick. Stoudemire, the penetration of Dish to O's for the basket. Lamont Murray, a little disappointed down the other end. The ball was stolen. Lazy coming back, and O's goes for the dunk uncontested. Jameson faces up. Can't get it. Murray underneath, knocked away by Stoudemire. Bears ball. Nothing easy underneath. Trying to get around in front. Lamont Murray, you give up good defensive rebounding position. Ball came right to him. Just couldn't get it back to the basket strongly. Kid for three. Rush down a little bit. Gary tries to tap it away. It's going to be off the Cal is just not letting the game come to them offensively. Lamont Murray's not touched it yet on his favorite left block position. They're not getting good shots. Arizona's going to double team him. He's got to wait for the double team to come and find the open man on the rotation. But Gary is very active. Oh, defensively. yeah. But Lamont Murray can't let him come around weak side and get the ball from him. Bottomire, a fall away over McQueen. It would go. bad shot. And we got a foul call on the Wildcats. Talked about how Todd Bozeman was having Lamont Murray post up so much more, but Lamont Murray's been a face up kind of player. And posting up is a special skill. You got to spread your backside, you got to be tough, get wide, and catch the ball first. Buckley for three, it won't go. And Kid the rebound. Out of bounds to the Wildcats, another turnover for the Bears. Both these teams with a pretty large turnover plus. Very aggressive teams, take a lot of chances defensively, change in trapping. Neither team uh, unusually compared to years past, big rebound margin. Stoudemire got loose underneath, but couldn't control the pass from Gary. And here come the Bears, McQueen. This is where they want the ball. See, Stoudemire and Khalid Reeves are quick enough to keep Kidd off his penetration. Air ball put up by McQueen, and the Bears have now gone three minutes and 16 seconds without a basket. Todd Bozeman, not a happy guy right now. And we've got a timeout as the Bears are 0 for 5 from the floor. 16-44, remaining first half. Pitcher's duel, Arizona 4, California nothing. We'll be back. Your wallet should be the fat one. Where's those two new flatbread sammies? $2, 200 calories. Black Angus steak or balsamic chicken toasted. Big taste, smaller size. Mmm, Quiznos love what you eat. <laughs> love how 
Davis, this is OnStar. I've received a signal you've been in a crash. I'm contacting emergency services. OnStar reporting a front-end crash on Wakefield Road. Jeff Malibu, airbags deployed, injuries reported. Ma'am, help is in the way. And I'll stay on the line with you till they get there. Automatic crash response, built into OnStar-equipped GM vehicles. <laughs> Drink responsibly. Get home safely. He said he had to go to Santa Fe for work. Big conference. Right. You know what's happening. You know he's with another car, driving around, probably to some rock climbing wall or out on an expensive dinner. He'll say it was with a client. It's probably that red Cadillac CTS from Avis. Again. With dozens of the hottest cars to choose from, there's a reason Avis is your other car. A reminder of triple header coming your way on ESPN this weekend. This Saturday, it'll be Florida and South Carolina to kick it off at noon. Then Houston and Texas Tech in the Southwest Conference, a rematch of the Southwest Conference title game last year. And Fresno State, the upstart Fresno State team against Utah. They've been playing pretty well lately. Yeah, good team. Gary Colson doing a very good job there. Did so in New Mexico. And was an assistant here at Cal not so very long ago under uh, the deposed Duke Campanella. Some zone from Cal. Try to take care of the guard play. But the penetration comes anyway and O's with another big finish. And he can thank David Stoudemire for the great look once again. That's one thing. I don't like Ryan Jameson coming up and catching the ball against the trap because he's not a threat from there. Finally, Cal gets on the board. Lamont Murray with a three. I want Jason Kidd to be catching the ball or... Anwar McQueen or Randy Duck when he comes in the game. You catch the ball in that area, you got to turn and threaten. Randy Duck is in the ballgame right now for California. He has been very effective in the last couple of games for the Bears. Just a freshman out of Garland, Texas. Good shooter and very tough kid, according to everybody we ask up at Cal. Reed to O's in traffic for the turnaround. Ray O's is so tough. Bigger, stronger, already with six points and really gives Arizona that third big-time double-figure score. Wildcats by five. Kidd beat everybody to the basket. That's his game, but where's the weak side help? He beat Khalid Reeves off the dribble near half court. Nobody coming over to help or take the charge. Stoudemire at the other end, who has shown some pretty good quick. Way outside, Stoudemire misses a three. And we're going to get a push against those. Now they're going to get Murray. Yeah, Murray blocked out inside by Ray O's, who's been so aggressive early in Lamont Murray. Quick foul trouble. That's a big problem for Cal. They cannot afford Murray to be on the bench. Lob again to O's. What a big time play. It was Gary, not O's. Couple of dunks early by Reggie Geary. And all we've been talking about is his defense. This is a set play. Reggie Geary, he probably got one play in the book. You just saw it. Everything else is for Khalid Reeves, Damon Stoudemire, and Ray O's. But Geary off to a great start. He got the crowd into the game. On both ends, a great start for Geary. He's an emotional player, too, when he gets it going. Four and a half minutes into the game, they've stunk it up, but are only down by five. Just make a nice little run, couple of good possessions, they're right back in the game. Only Arizona scoring coming from those who you don't expect. Randy Duck misses a three, and the rebound down to the Wildcats reach control. O's with six, and Gary with four to account for the ten Arizona points. Here's Stoudemire in traffic to Blair. Rejection by Murray, and Jamison controls it. Murray with a couple of blocks. Lob from Duck to Buckley. 
make the play at the defensive end. You know, you can't get frustrated when things are not flowing well on offense. Come still play tough defensively, make things happen out of the transition. Randy Duck, just a freshman with the big pass that time. Reeves for three. Talk about the green light. These are some threes from distance. Reeves again. And drew the foul. how much Cal had been struggling offensively, but you gotta get a spark. And Lamont Murray, who really hasn't touched the ball enough offensively or been a force, comes out with a big block. And we talked about Duck going down to Monty Buckley. Maybe this will get Cal started. And I like them doing this for defense. The last couple of shots have been for Stoudemire and Khalid Reeves from big distance. See the average on Reeves. Not yet had a field goal. That is his first point. Seventy-eight percent at the line between he and Stoudemire. They shoot it at eighty-one percent from the free throw line. The ball is in their hands an awful lot. So particularly when the game's on the line, they're getting their best free throw shooters up to the charity stripe. Pressure that time against Kidd. Results in a turnover. Gary with a fast hands. Four on two. Stoudemire trapped. Yeah, that's a good call on the outside. But once again, Ryan Jamison put in the position to make the good catch and then make another decision. This just is not the position you want to put your six foot 11 center. Playing center field, look at Geary just moving over. He is on that ball right now going the other way. DeKal is just satisfied to break the press. I think they'd be much better off to go ahead and attack. Give Murray and Kidd to get really more into their flow of the game. There's Stoudemire stepping in front and he'll take it to the basket. This is only part of their game. Both Khalid Reeves and Damon Stoudemire are very tough defensively as well. Good news for California. Al Grigsby in the ballgame. He has had a very painful hamstring and has only played about five minutes all year. Rejection once again, and here come the Wildcats. Three on three. Reeves can't get it. Grigsby got a hand on it. You know, but they must have ruled as we get the turnover here off Jason Kidd's foot. Must have ruled that the ball was below the basket because Grigsby clearly touched that ball. Must have had no chance of going in. Bears have now turned it over six times, uncharacteristic. Most have been forced. Where's K.J. Roberts? Played for a couple of years. A very solid force, and uh, he would certainly be in there to take a lot of pressure off Jason Kidd. Alfred Grigsby has really suffered this year, had his knee scoped early. It leads to this steal. And Damon Stoudemire going the other way for the easy score in transition. Al Grigsby played in the San Francisco Pro League this summer and was the most valuable player in that league. So he has made quantum strides. Hyper extended his knee the first week of practice, had it scoped on November 5th, didn't come back until the 27th, and then he's trained a, strained a hamstring. So he has missed so much time, his conditioning is down, and he is one tough customer down inside. There you see Buckley going strong. Grigsby gets the rebound, looks good here, but you can see, you know, no lift there and raising his leg and very uncomfortable. And just not going to get the kind of minutes and productivity that Todd Bozeman would like out of. Todd Bozeman wasn't even sure that he would play him tonight when we talked to Todd just a few minutes before tip-off. There's a lob for O's. O's controls it, tried the putback, it wouldn't go. That's a long Pac-10 season, and you get you tear a hamstring and you're in trouble. Here's Buckley at the other end as the Bears beat him back, and they're going to get Buckley for the foul. They're going to count the basket. But I believe they're going to call a foul on Buckley, I believe. I think Buckley's going to shoot the free throw. I think Monty right. Buckley, who had a big game at home against Arizona last year. Yeah, there you see the little push, and that's a good call. Shooters in the air. The defender pushes off like that. That's a good call. Sending Buckley to the line. Converts the three-point play, and it is a four-point Arizona lead. Bears hanging around here. Well, they went to the zone defense, and they're starting to make some things happen defensively. Boy, O's with a couple of big-time screens on Jason Kidd. And creates a switch. Back to man-to-man. -man. Change direction. Duck picks up the loose ball. Might have double dribbled. Oh, he did away double dribble and got away with it. Khalid Reeves not letting him get away with anything. Players everywhere, bodies everywhere, and Reeves picks it up and puts it in. What a great sequence. Jason Kidd has got to handle the ball. He has got to take complete control of Cal's offense right now. The tempo is wrong. The way they're handling the pressure is wrong. Jason Kidd's got to take over. 
problem is he's so unselfish, he likes to give it up. Got a foul whistled by Jerry White under the basket. They got Joseph Blair under the basket. We're going to take a timeout with 11.47 remaining in the first half. Wildcats lead it by six. It's Arizona 16, California 10, and we'll be back. Looking for the love of your life? Log on to eHarmony.com this Friday through Monday only during our free communication weekend. eHarmony.com. Log on today. Fellas, welcome to our camp. Don't be afraid of making mistakes. Just work together with me. Knock it away from me. Use the board. If you could go to a camp with Coach K, bring it in again for the same price as one with Coach J. Take it. Why wouldn't you? Right. It's the same with car insurance. If you could get the personal service of a State Farm agent for the same or less than those other guys, why wouldn't you? Nobody can match our combination of service and low rates. Get a quote today. Give me the ball. Oh. You know, I just thought, you know, for 200 it'd be bigger. That's pretty much it. Like, how much for that one? Oh. A lot. A lot. Could we move... Can we move it up? Maybe. Oh, sure, sure. Okay. How's that? Better, yeah. Every Saturday, witness history in the making with live college basketball. This week gets a double header. At 6, Yale versus Pennsylvania. Then at 8, Villanova at St. John's. It's live college basketball. Saturday at 6, only on ESPN Classic. An important free offer for men with balding or thinning hair. My hair looks better than what it did when I was a teenager. I really think he looks amazing. I mean, and just I... look at him. Men, no diet, no exercise program, no new set of clothes can ever improve your confidence, your good looks, and the way women look at you, the way a thick, full head of your own real hair will. And now you can have it in just four weeks when you call Hair Club right now. I just can't believe how much better he looks. He looks so handsome now. Life's about having fun. It's about looking good. I mean, 80% of feeling good is looking good. Call now for your confidential appointment. We'll give you a free hair and scalp analysis. Get the head of hair you want. Call Hair Club now. I only wish I hadn't taken so long. That's why I'm telling you. Do it now. Call now for our free DVD and brochure shipped to you in a discreet plain envelope. Hair Club has the solution you want. Call now. Call 1-800-326-3380. Don't delay. Call now. Welcome back. I'm Kara Capuano. Time now for some classic trivia. We pose this question to you. What player holds the Cal record for most points scored in a game? Is it Jason Kidd, the 1994 Pac-10 Player of the Year? Kevin Johnson, who scored over 1,600 points in his career? Maybe Ed Gray, who averaged 24.8 points per game in 1997? or Sharif Abdul-Rahim, who holds the Cal record for most points in a season. We'll have that answer a little later in the program. Right now, let's return to Arizona and Cal from 1994 here on ESPN Classic. Arizona leading the California Golden Bears. Both teams seem to be waiting for the other. Well, you know, Arizona's trap has caused some problems for Cal. I don't think they're attacking that in terms of moving their personnel in the right positions. Cal's been bad at the offensive end, and Arizona hadn't been much better since Cal went to their zone. I think that was a key switch by Todd Bozeman. Lamon Murray has been on the bench for the last few minutes. Bears trying to stay close without him. Substitutions as we got a grab foul called on Flanagan underneath. I was going to say Kevin Flanagan has come on for Lute Olsen. And in spite of the leg injury, Alfred Grigsby comes out. He knows he's not going to play many minutes. So come out and try to be as active and productive as you possibly can in the 10, 12 minutes you're going to get. Dylan Rigdon also in the ball game for the Wildcats. Kid posting up. Gets it to Grigsby. Can't find a handle. Loose ball. Scramble. Grigsby picks it up. Puts it up. Can't get it. And a rebound O's. Khalid Reeves on the bench for Lute Olsen. Stoudemire for three. It won't go. And the ball is knocked out of Grigsby's hands. It'll be California's ball. Dave Libby changed the call. It, yeah, said it went off Grigsby, staying down the Arizona end. Dylan Rigdon, who's inbounded the ball now, really can shoot. Transfer out of UC Irvine. Good three-point threat. Hurt much of last year. Really got his confidence right now from beyond the arc. You can see Buckley jump out at him, respecting that. Williams, Corey Williams missed a three, and Buckley the rebound. 
See, Cal's zone defense is making Arizona shoot the ball from good distance. They have a good defensive rebounding position as well. Kid for three, it won't go. Follow Jamison from behind, gets his own rebound. Loose ball, scramble, it'll be California. Atea, you get the rebound, you got to protect it, keep it high, go straight back to the basket because Stoudemire, Khalid Reeves, Geary, when he's in there, Corey Williams, they are going to strip you if you bring the ball down. Randy Duck behind a triple screen, can't get it. Kid the rebound, Buckley. Leaner. And the Bears' shooting woes continue. They're just missing another scorer in K.J. Roberts being out with the injury and Lamont Murray with two fouls. You just have to wonder where the points are going to come from. Bears just 4 of 15 from the field. Two-man game up top. Nice crossover. Kid cut him off nicely, though. Outside it goes to Owens. He can shoot it from out there. Pulls up. Boy, he has really become a solid player, averaging over 13 points. He looks so comfortable out there. He's got eight in this one. Jameson. That's not where the Bears want their points coming from. Grigsby, the second chance, missed badly. And oh, is a nice rebound. But travel. And you can thank Jason Kidd for creating that. Well, he is there if ever the ball is available. O's with a strong rebound, just biceps the ball. And here comes Jason Kidd and forces O's. Of course, we couldn't see his feet. But Lute Olsen is not pulling up a rope. He's saying there's a lot of foul going on there. Lamont Murray back in the ballgame missed the shot. Arizona with the numbers, three on one. Here is Reeves, or rather Gary, missed the shot but drew the foul. Well, Cal not getting back at all. Randy Duck, the freshman out of Garland, Texas. Back there by himself, three on one. This is like they draw it up in transition practice. Khalid Reeves, a good rebounder at the guard position, just going coast to coast. Strong to the basket, Gary should have made that shot. At the line for two. Bears just having all kinds of problems shooting it from the field. Four of 20, and you still... I want to say only trail by eight, but considering the way they've shot it, only is the operable word. Oh, they're lucky to be down by eight. Let's remember, they started out the season shooting the ball very poorly, and once K.J. Roberts came back in, it all seemed to come together. Jason Kidd with an easy basket off the glass, and it's a six-point ball game following the two misses by Garrett. Much more of that from Jason Kidd. Watch for him just to call his own number and stop giving it up. Try to keep his team at least get some confidence and some flow to their offense. Prior to that, the Bears had missed their last eight. Rigdon with the penetration. And we're going to get a foul against the Bears. Randy Duck picks up his second. Talked about the evolution and maturation of Dylan Rigdon's game. Purely a perimeter player, particularly last year, but now he's got the confidence and the respect of everybody around the league. You don't come out on me, I'm going to burn you. You come out on me, I'll take it to the basket. Rigdon out of modern day high school, and that has been a real jumping off place for Lute Olson's program. Reggie Geary also out of modern day, and one of their new recruits, Miles Simon, will be coming in this next year also out of modern day. I talked to Lute about that, and he said the reason that so many kids do come over here, other than the fact that they just simply like Tucson and like the University of Arizona, is that the language that the coach of modern day uses and the language of the, of the offense here with Lute Olson is the same. So the kids can adapt. Shots available. Jamison got to take that shot. Gets the tip underneath. Very nice effort by Jamison and give it to Murray. See if Ryan Jamison can hit that 15-foot jump shot, then it changes everything in terms of the defense down on the block against Lamont Murray. Reeves blocked by Kidd. Race to the basketball. Reeves wins the race. Now pushes it. Rigdon for three. Yes. You got to respect him. He can burn you from the outside. Jason Kidd is in that mindset now where he feels he can take the game over. I've seen him do this before. Got a pretty tough ombre in front of him now. Murray posts up. Now he gets the ball and hooks over Gary. Was working on that during the shoot around and showing the little baby hook both left handed and right handed. So clearly he has permission to use the baby hook and with good reason. 
I think he probably has permission to use his feet if he can get it in. <laughs> I think you're exactly right. And the way he shoots it, he may be able to. And back-to-back 30-point -back games, and could have easily had against Washington in California's last game, except that he sat the last eight minutes and wound up at 25. Dylan Rigdon again taking it off the dribble against Cal's defense. Anwar McQueen just not ready to handle him. 7.51 remaining first half. Arizona 23, California 16, and we'll be back. We represent the Coke brand. We would like to sue Coca-Cola Zero for taste infringement. Coca-Cola against Coca-Cola? Yes. You have a situation where Your right leg uh -huh. has a problem with your left leg because it's too similar to your right leg. But with a prosthetic, I can live without my left leg. Da, 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 da. So he's going away with Avis. Again. He'll probably get the where to GPS so he can find all his precious fancy coffees and driving ranges on his business trip. Fine. That's the way he wants it? Fine. Forget about him. You don't need him. Did he just look back? I think he looked back. Where to GPS can find anything from a driving range to a latte. Just one more reason Avis is your other car. Taste naturally nutritious. Planters instinctively good. Well, I was shopping for a new car. Which one's me? A cool convertible or an SUV? Too bad I didn't know my credit was whack. Cause now I'm driving off the lot in a used subcompact. F-R-E-E, -E, that spells free. Creditreport.com, baby. Saw their ads on my TV. Thought about going but was too lazy. Now instead of looking fly and rolling fat, my legs are sticking to the vinyl and my posse's getting laughed at. F-R-E-E, -E, that spells free. Creditreport.com, baby. Offer applies with enrollment and triple advantage. Been a tough defensive game. No easy shots in this ball game. O's makes another tough one. Well, worked long and hard in the weight room during the offseason, and again, he continues to be just a different player. Shooting it at 57% coming in. Murray is short, and a rebound to Flanagan. Buckley went for the block. Geary got away with the travel. Flanagan, the running hook won't go. The follow won't go. And the rebound finally down to Kidd. Now the Bears got the numbers. Four on two. This is Murray in the middle. Swatted away from behind. And a foul. Murray taking it up the middle. And Arizona getting caught reaching in just a little bit. You see the pace picking up. Cal was very, very tight early in this basketball game. And it showed in their offensive flow. We're not handling the trap defense at all well but now we look up down by nine and not shot it at all well buckley thought about it they're not guarding jameson at all jameson can find any shot he wants in the key they're looking for this guy though and murray's surrounded what does he draw a crowd when he gets the ball overplayed nicely by flanagan but kid runs it down mcqueen blocked that time by gary great block Gary one-on-one -on -one with Buckley to Reeves on the wing. Swatted away by Buckley. Out of bounds to California. They got Gary for a player control foul. Again, Arizona playing the defense. The good outlet here. Gary's looking. Gives it up. And then Anwar McQueen is there. And they call the charge against Khalid Reeves. I thought they got Gary away from the ball, but they did get Reeves. His second personal. So Murray with two, Reeves with two, each team with six. And the big scorers and the great players we talked about have yet really to show up at the offensive end. Khalid Reeves and Damon Stoudemire putting up big numbers. I think that's due in large part to the defense. Jason Kidd on Khalid Reeves and the job that Geary is doing on Murray. Most of Murray's points, it should be said, have not come off of Geary. O's guarding him now. Jamison, turn around. That's a shot he can make. Very high for the rebound. Rigdon 
tripped by Achille Jones, who draws the foul. And Dylan Rigdon is just a different player. He's very, very active offensively. Before, he would have drifted out and not even looked to put the ball on the floor. Really adds a different element to Lute Olsen's offense. It's going to be a shooting situation now for Dylan Rigdon as the Bears now with 17 fouls. Six now points in the ball game. As you said, the scoring is not coming from the people you'd expect. Well, Rayos has been big. For Arizona, very good inside. Khalid Reeves with just one field goal. He's got four points. Murray has seven. Surprised Arizona continues or does not continue with their trapping defense. It was really getting Cal out of sync. Well, Kidd saw the switch that time, got the ball to Jamison, who needed to finish. O's oh, fall away. A little hard. Blair, the follow won't go, and Murray, the rebound. Murray, way up front for three. Yes! He can do it inside now. I mean, maybe spending too much time posting up. Good adjustment by Todd Bozeman to get his star. Look at the basket from somewhere else. And Murray very quietly has 10. And the Bears back within eight. But Dylan Rigdon once again taking the ball strong to the basket. You know, we talked about Damon Stoudemire. We talked about Khalid Reeves, accounted for 80% of their offense. But Dylan Rigdon has come in, beaten guards off the dribble, and now off the two-man game, takes Ryan Jameson to the hole. Kelly Jones leaves and Jamison leaves for California. As Michael Stewart comes into the ballgame for the first time, a freshman. Ray O's, who has been brilliant so far, leaves. Leaves with 10 points. And Rigdon missed the free throw. Reeves, Rigdon, Stoudemire, Corey Williams, and Joseph Blair for Arizona. Stewart, Kidd, McQueen, Buckley, and Murray for California. Todd Bozeman having a visit with Ryan Jamison, who he says is my most improved player. We really need him to be productive, and so far has not had a good first half. Spent a lot of time in the weight room in the offseason. Looks like a different player. Murray with Williams on him. Pull up. And Blair the rebound. Over, he? Blair on the baseline can't get the roll and Murray got a hand on it kid controls the rebound three on three kid for three and gets his own, re his own rebound back and drew the foul on Khalid Reeves the Khalid Reeves did a pretty nice job offensive defensively I should say on the first shot his third oh, personal oh, foul and obviously oh, he's oh, got to sit Kept Jason Kidd on the perimeter. Kidd pulls up for the jump shot, which again, even though that shot didn't go, looks much better this year. But he is so active and so determined after the ball, you got to be disciplined and block him out. He goes and gets his own rebound. They called the foul, however, not on Khalid Reeves. Oh, that's a big Called save. it on Corey Williams. But even so, Khalid Reeves is going to take a seat. I tell you, it was Reeves who got him. And Kidd missed everything. And that is unusual. I'll tell you about Jason Kidd. He may do that now. If this game is tied with five seconds left in the ballgame, I promise he doesn't miss that shot. And he'll want to be the one back on the line. He will have completely forgotten that. They played Wake Forest, did California, at Wake Forest. Wake Forest, of course, tonight beating Duke. Jason Kidd, with the game tied, Jason Kidd made a what was an intentional foul by his own admission. And he said the reason for it was, he said, I wanted to be the master of my own fate. If we needed to make a three, we'll make a three. And sure enough, the Bears won the ballgame. Here's Kidd again. Nice catch and finish. Anwar McQueen, and there he's starting to take over. You throw the ball out here anywhere on this court, and Jason Kidd, I'll bet you 50 bucks, is the first man to the ball. Well, again, talking to Lute Olsen this afternoon, and Lute says he has the best knowledge of the passing lanes of any player he's ever seen in college basketball. Tried to force that one in on the bounce to Murray, and we're going to get another foul. No, we're not going to get a foul. It's out of bounds. I'll tell you, I, I would like to see Jason Kidd dribble the ball down, take some time, and post up Lamont Murray. 
just be a little bit more patient and put Lamont Murray farther out on the floor. Maybe gone for away from the post-up game too quickly. There's Kidd. the post-up. Nice job to save the ball by Jason Kidd. Rigdon steps in front of Buckley nicely and saves it off. Of, they're going to say it's off of Buckley. It'll be Arizona's ball. Big time play by Rigdon. Rigdon once again out of Laguna Beach, California, just active again. And you know, cross-court passes, you got to have the right spacing. You enter the ball into the low post, the pl other offensive players have to space the floor correctly, be impossible to defend. Tenth turnover forced by the Wildcats. Wildcats have a few themselves. They have seven. Joseph Blair in traffic. Good patience down low. Made the tough catch and then really regathered himself to get the two. Nine point lead once again, Wildcats. Lob Jamison to Murray. Couldn't get the shot. McQueen controls the rebound. He misses long and Stoudemire clears. Cannot afford to do that. Posting up Murray. He's got two fouls. Get him the ball. Stoudemire for three. It won't go. Murray the rebound. Make Lamont Murray play some defense. He has been able to relax at the defensive end for probably the last four or five minutes when he's had foul trouble. Interestingly enough, Arizona, which has made a living this year off of end-to-end -end defensive pressure as Jamison squares up and makes the shot, not doing that with Jason Kidd. They're just dropping back and playing half-court defense and playing it pretty well. Yep. That's a big shot for Ryan Jameson. The double team came. He releases to the open area. Just go ahead and knock down that jump shot. It's going to be there all night for him. The kid has done a very good job on Khalid Reeves. Nice screen that time, though, for Williams. And now Murray picks him up. Rigdon for three up top. Won't go. Going to be out of bounds off of Stoudemire. California ball. We'll take a timeout. 225 remaining first half. Arizona 30, California 23. Back to Tucson after this. LT and the boys are playing again tonight. There are no refs, just timekeepers. It's time for Campbell's Chunky. Party soups packed with beef, chicken, or sausage to feed an NFL size hunger. Hey, nice hit for a quarterback. Campbell's Chunky, meals that fill you up right. Tonight on ESPN Classic, it's a Valentine's Day massacre. Back-to-back -back bouts featuring Arturo Gatti, one of boxing's toughest fighters. At 8, Gatti versus Rodriguez. No love lost here. See why this title bout from 96 is a real knockout. At 8.30, Gatti battles Ruiz in a classic title bout from 97. The ultimate Valentine's Day bash. See why the experts called it the fight of the year. Gatti versus Rodriguez at 8. At 8.30, Gatti takes on Ruiz. It's all tonight on ESPN Classic. Every Sunday morning, ESPN Classic is your place to see a replay of this week's best college basketball game. Oh, my goodness! The ESPN College Basketball Game of the Week, 9 a.m. Sundays, only on ESPN Classic. If you own a tractor with a power takeoff, DR has the chipper for you. Harness the power of your tractor with the incredible DR chipper. Turn ugly brush into a tractor, useful chip, and do it fast. The DR Chipper handles branches up to four and a half inches thick in just seconds. And DR has the largest selection of chipper models anywhere. All have two or three times the power and speed of ordinary chippers, and they're all on sale right now. So call today, and I'll send you a free catalog and DVD all about these incredible DR Chippers. For your free information packet, call 1-800-529-0027. 
you'll learn how you can try a DR chipper on your own property for six months risk-free. So call today, 1-800-529-0027. Online at drchipper.com. DR is professional power for homeowners. Welcome back. I'm Tara Capuano. In 1997, Arizona and Cal battled in another Pac-10 thriller. Here's Rich Eisen with the Sports Center replay. Number 12, Arizona and Cal at the Cal Palace. Second half, Cal up by two. Tony Gonzalez puts it in reverse. Cal up by four. More from Tony Gonzalez. This time, a nice dish from Prentice Magruder. Out the bucket and the foul. Magruder. Pump. Cal up by eight. Arizona coming back. A.J. Bramlett gets the bucket and the foul. He had 19 on the night. More from Bramlett with under a minute to play. Yet another bucket. Yet another foul. He enjoys that. The Cats go up by one on the free throw line. Only one second to play. Prentice Magruder makes the free throw to put Cal up two. But Arizona's been here before. Last year against Cincy, Miles Simon in the Espy-like moment to win it for the Cats. Would he do it again? Simon says almost. Wow. Check out the guy with the, the young kid on his shoulders running on the floor. That would have been interesting if Miles Simon made that. But he didn't. California goes on to win by two. Arizona would go on to win the national championship that season. Cal would lose in the Sweet 16 to North Carolina. Let's return to Cal in Arizona from 1994 here on ESPN Classic. They try to trap Kidd. He gets it ahead. Buckley tried to get it to McQueen, going to the basket. McQueen thought somebody was behind him. Wrong again. Fifth had, turnover. Had the numbers, just not taking care of the basketball. And Todd Bozeman goes, there's a chance to cut into the lead. And we were right there. But you made an excellent point about the technical foul against Randy Duck. Since that time, Arizona has taken over, and they continue to do so. Stoudemire sticks it. And it is an eight-point lead and another turnover. Khalid Reeves challenging the inbound pass. Ryan Jamison relaxing just a second, returning the favor against Jason Kidd, being so active defensively. Eight-point lead with the ball after the Bears have taken a one-point lead. Now Cal going back to the zone. It certainly hurt the outside shooting of Arizona early. Great look inside. And hammered is O's, and he'll go to the free throw line. Buckley guilty of the foul. Reggie Geary again threatens with the three, waits for the defense to come. Now wait here, here comes the defense. Now Jamison again just gives up position. The ball goes down to the corner. Jamison comes out to help, leaves his feet. There's no rotation from the weak side from Monty Buckley, and O's goes strong to the basket and get the free throw. Now you want a little deja vu? In the first conference game of the year for Arizona against Arizona State last week, the game was 38 to 36. In a four minute period, Arizona went on a 20 to two run and the game was a blowout after that. What was the score when this thing started? 36-35. Chance. Reeves squares up from three and sticks it. A 13 to nothing run. Cal was the team that had been so productive in their runs early in the season. Big possession here and bucket by Lamont Murray. Start of our one the help, I think, from Joe Blair's to get out of my way. Stoudemire for three, won't go. Quick that's, shot. Yeah, that's a bad shot. Just a two-man game out front. Just taking too quick a look at the basket. Kid wrestles it away. He'll go end-to-end. -end. Dish to McQueen. Kid tried to step in front. Now Reeves lost it. Pulls up. This game is really getting end-to-end. -end. Foul on Jamison. Goes to the line again. Jason Kidd getting the ball in his hands. Now come out. This was very close to a travel. Boom. Yeah, he got rid of it. He got rid of it. Anwar McQueen, the recipient, goes in for the deuce. Nice look. An unselfish play by Jason Kidd. Now Grigsby back into the ballgame. Jamison sits as Reyes goes to the line. 
anything Jason Kidd needs to do, I would like to see him do more of, is just go to the basket and dunk on the finish. You live in the Bay Area in California. You saw him do that repeatedly in high school. He is still capable. He is capable. He, you know, the thing about Jason Kidd, he is so unselfish, and he's the kind of guy who really gets more out of the game if he gives the ball up in his own mind. Oh, but sometimes, sometimes the way you can be most unselfish and most giving to your team is to do what you do best, and I think he needs to finish some of those. What a look to Grigsby for the jam. I'll tell you what he does it. He does it when he needs to do it. That is when the game's on the line. That's how they won the game against Wake Forest. As we said earlier. They're just certain special players who want the ball in their hands. And it's not being selfish or egotistical. They just want it. Nice give that time from Gary to Blair to the basket. Good execution that time by Arizona. And a lot more patience. Not just one screen and quick look. Murray lost the handle. Gary gets it. Two on two. Stoudemire finishes. you got to stop the ball, and you've got to know the favorite move of the opposition. Game right now is being played. Count that basket as Buckley will go to the line. But I have to think this is to Arizona's favor right now. Well, they got more depth. They got more bodies. And there's no doubt about it that the guards, Jason Kidd, Khalid Reeves, and Reggie Geary want to get out. Look at Damon Stoudemire. He's going, yes, this is my game. You've got to stop the ball on the outside. Stop that penetration. Easier said than done. O's leaves. Corey Williams comes on for Lute Olsen. And Rigdon is going to come into the ball game, too. Buckley converts the three-point play. And it is an eight-point ball game. See, we talk about depth and whatnot. Arizona, even though they don't have too much size on their bench, with the injury to Alfred Grigsby, Cal does not play big with the lineup they have out right out there right now. So Arizona is very comfortable in going with a smaller lineup. And Lute Olsen counters with the 6'10", Kevin Flanagan. Like I said, the smaller lineup. Williams <laughs> jump hook on the post that won't go. Here's Randy Duck outlet kid. Kid one on one. Give it up down the lane. Murray the slam. The Bears got it back to six here. That's someone who can finish. Yeah. Stoudemire, that's a tough shot. He gets it. Well, I don't think that's the shot Lute Olsen wanted as they've been able to pull away and really make Cal play good defense. But Stoudemire has got the green light and confidence. And now they go full court pressure. And they're going to get Stoudemire on the block. That's a great matchup. Jason Kidd goes over and... Pat's Damon's Stoudemire on the backside. I'll tell you, Damon Stoudemire is a tough, tough customer. He's bumped up a lot since he came here. In fact, I noticed today he's got that tattoo on his arm, which is new this year. You see that tattoo right there. It says Damon. When he first came here, there was only room for Dan. <laughs> well, Joseph Blair has one that says Baby Blair, and I've never been able to figure that out. Does that mean he had it when he was six months old? Because there's nothing baby about him. It means he's got a bigger brother. Right I, guess, I guess. I guess. Nice takeaway by Reeves, swatted away from behind by Buckley. That's a pretty good foul. He was going for the ball. Foul on Cal, number three, Monty Buckley, his third personal 15 foul. Careless ball handling here, but Reggie Geary coming out and making him pay with the quick hands and dedication to stealing the ball. That's pretty a tough good. looking foul, but Monty Buckley's just reaching around here, clipped him with his foot. That's Absolutely. worse than it was. I think that's a good foul was going to be two for Arizona. Instead, it might be three. <laughs> Stoudemire's on fire. He's feeling it now. You shoot one for six in the first half, and all that means to him is, I got my misses out of the way. Here's Murray for three. It won't go. Long rebound controlled by Duck. Off of Reeves. It'll be California's ball. Stoudemire with 13 now. And he's throwing them in from everywhere. Rayos comes back. Corey Williams leaves. Short blow for Rayos. They want him on the Mon Murray right now. Grigsby looking for help. Puts Five second court. call is still in. It's only off now in this year's rule book when you're dribbling the basketball. Pretty close to it. Kid elbowed a man off of him and then missed the shot. Steps in front of that one again. Great knowledge of the passing lanes, as we said. Buckley draws the foul. He'll shoot two. I tell you, if I got a rebound and Jason Kidd was on the floor, I might just cover it up until I identified where he was. He might tie you up, though. 
But Jason Kidd misses the shot here. The rebound is taken by Kevin Flanagan. Now, where is he? I got to identify that guy. Buckley for two. Buckley has contributed 13. Very quietly, he has been a real factor for the Bears. Been solid player all year long, averaging almost in double figures. Won seven games in a row, and Bears come in here on a roll, and certainly not embarrassing themselves, win or lose tonight. Reeves, tough shot again. Long rebound, O's gets it. A well, good team defense that time by Cal, but just cannot get to the loose ball. Talking to Lute Olsen about the three-guard offense in the end-to-end. -end defense that the Wildcats play of whether or not this is a sign of the 90s and he said absolutely that's what this game is going to be all about Jason Kidd cross-court Buckley pull up well gets it down low finishing his move nice ball movement by the Bears Arizona expended a lot of energy in that offensive run in the early stages of this first half I think they're a little gassed right now Cal's getting out with some numbers on the break seven point ball game Bears will not go away 11:35 remaining Reeves got around Randy Duck. Couldn't get the shot, but Duck got it. Duck, a very emotional player. Pretty good isolation. And Khalid Reeves just turns around and recognizes, and Randy Duck is gone. Fifth personal foul. And he got it in quick order. The kind of player, though, that any coach wants. He's one of those guys on the floor. He's a human bruise. Uh, he will compete and come out and play. And I mentioned earlier what K.J. Roberts and Jason Kidd had to say about him. They really like having him up at uh, Berkeley. He's just a tough, tough kid. Reeves gets one out of two, 11-29, remaining in the ball game. Arizona 59, California 51. Long way to go, and we'll be back. Can I help you? I'm looking for a laptop. Well, we have all the best brands, but before I can help you out, I'd like to get to know you first. Okay. <laughs> okay, so once your little niece Chloe arrives, you're going to want to get the gateway. It has a ton of memory for home videos. Good. How many kids will I have? Four. All the best brands. No interest for 18 months, plus Geek Squad support. Only at Best Buy. You're just too good to be true. Can't take my eyes off you. the frantic and the overworked we'd like to introduce a revolutionary new concept when you can do business in an instant the world moves at just the right pace upgrade to a smartphone on the nation's largest mobile broadband network the blackberry pearl from sprint hey jack i thought you were getting a toyota corolla well i was then i found out this mazda 3's got more interior room more standard horsepower and been getting some great reviews. I don't see why anyone would get a Corolla. So, so. Right now, get 1.9% APR financing on the 08 Mazda 3 4 door and 5 door. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Discover a better way the Zoom Zoom way. Barry Tompkins with Paul Sunderland at the McHale Center in Tucson where the Arizona Wildcats trying to make it 101 and 2 here at the McHale Center in the last few years. Lead the Bears by eight. We talked about the three guards that we're seeing perform tonight, all of them performing admirably. Reeves, Kidd, and Stoudemire. This really is a conference 
of guards. Isaac Burton just up the road at Arizona State, averaging in excess of 18 points a game. Stephen Smith, who's playing the two guard, but really is a point guard, 17 and a half points a game. Orlando Williams up in Oregon. Tyus Edney, who I really like a lot. Great player. I think he's guy really makes UCLA what they are. Great penetrator, kick out. A couple of pretty good ones up in Washington State and Harrison Hill. Jamison takes the shot and misses it. And Buckley high for the rebound, but he didn't get the good pass. McQueen, however, runs it down. Murray in traffic, got a hand on it, did Gary. Jamison underneath missed the reverse, but drew the foul. Okay, right now, Cal is playing a little bit harder, and I talked about Arizona being fatigued, making that big run. And I think it's cost him right now, and Cal's taking it to him on the offensive glass as well as getting out on the break. Here are the shooting percentages by half. Both teams shooting it considerably better in the second half. Still, Arizona at 50% best half of the two teams. The teams are going to double team Lamont Murray. Ryan Jameson could average 15 points a game. Just get confidence in that 12 to 15 foot jump shot. And then it'll make Lamont Murray's life, of course, much easier as well. I've seen him shoot that shot. He is not shooting it well tonight. He's got that range. He's got 18-foot range, no doubt about it, but just not putting it up there with confidence this evening. Sotomayor with McQueen in his pocket. Now Reeves cut off by Kidd. Swatted away that time by Murray, but a foul. Foul is on Hill. 52, Ryan They got Jameson away from the ball. 17 foul now for the Bears. Both teams with seven fouls. Glenn Reeves, one of those players with the ball, like his mate Damon Stoudemire, makes up his mind to get a shot and get to the free throw line or get to the basket. He's going to do it. He's got pretty good size, too. Reeves at 200 pounds. His mom is here from Queens. Joseph Blair's mom is here. We talked to her a little bit earlier. See David Stoudemire's family, but I know they are often here. Jason Kidd's dad also has made this trip, makes them all. Buckley on the baseline, pump fake, couldn't get it, follows his own shot, misses, comes down, gonna get a foul, and I think they're gonna get Geary. Grabbing on Buckley. Great effort by Buckley. Yeah, he's been aggressive offensively this time, taking it to the baseline. Got a little bit too far behind the glass. Forced some contact. Very, very tough stand with the basketball. This is on Khalid Reeves, and Reeves just lets him go. Pretty soft defense down along the baseline, but Buckley stays with it, stays with it. Buckley gets it. Buckley's been a real factor, especially in the second half of California. Rigdon comes on, and Gary leaves. Buckley with 15 points in the ballgame. Bears will have to get some scoring from somewhere with the absence of K.J. Roberts, and Buckley showing that he might be the man. Much like Ray O's for Arizona, he has shown he can step in and score when need be. Significantly also, Gary on the bench with four fouls, and he is the defensive player that, remember, Lute Olsen said the key to the game, can't get into foul trouble, and Stoudemire sticks another off-balance jumper. Well, right now, Lute Olsen says, look, my two guards cannot be stopped. Murray cannot be stopped either. Three for Lamont. You just watching Khalid Reeves and Damon Stoudemire taking turns, just isolating, going to the basket, or going off high screens at the top. And right now, Cal has been unable to stop that. I'd like to see them go back to their zone defense that really slowed down Arizona in the first half. Wildcats shooting a little better from beyond the arc in this second half. Rigdon the penetration and got it! People just don't expect Dylan Rigdon to be a finisher, but he has added that to his repertoire, going to the basket for his 10th. Now they post Murray up. Jamison up front, got it! 52, Jamison. Jamison's got that shot all night if he wants it. Well, we showed you that in the beginning of the second half. Catch it, put it up there like you mean it, or take it hard to the glass. Kid steps in front again. It's Kid and Stoudemire. Kid to the basket. Is he something special? How many steals does he have tonight? He's averaging 3.5 on the year. I believe that's fifth best in the nation, and he's adding to that this evening. Third steal of the night for Jason Kidd. He is at his best at crunch time, and it's getting down to that. Nine minutes left, three-point game. 
Stoudemire behind him. Blair screen floats it up over Buckley. Missed it. Reeves gets it back. Swatted away by Murray. Reeves gets it. Rather Stoudemire back again. And he's got it. It's one or the other. We talked about him at the beginning of the game. They had a very poor, poor first half. But they are there. And all over Jason Kidd in the backcourt defensively. And it takes one. two of them to stop him. Yeah, but give that one to Reeves. Got a hand on the ball nicely. Kidd could control it. Wildcats five-point lead and the ball. But in spite of the turnover, I would rather have Jason Kidd bring the ball up against pressure than give it up and be unable to get it back. Well, the battle, the personal battle between Reeves and Kidd has been something special tonight. Khalid Reeves goes for 40 against Michigan. They just ran the Wolverines right out of here. Jump hook, Blair. Jamison again up top, takes it, got it. Now Jamison's starting to get the stroke, and there's going to have to be some adjustments now. Well, that's the key to this second half. If the double team comes on Lamont Murray, be unselfish, do the right thing. Kick it out, play as a team, and now Jamison is doing his part by sticking the jumper. They're really springing Reeves behind good screens. Blair that time. Oates faces up. Couldn't get it. Reeves to the boards. Excellent effort by Reeves. You, you got to block out Khalid Reeves, averaging four rebounds a game. A lot of those coming at the offensive end. Just quick to the ball. Arizona State has defeated Stanford. Good win for Arizona State. They are a different team when they play in Tempe. And with Mario Bennett. Yeah, Mario Bennett comes back into the lineup. A couple of reconstructive surgeries. Goes for 27 in a losing cause against St. Louis. But he is one of the fine players probably in the country. You just haven't heard enough about him because he's been injured so often the last year and a half. No laughing at St. Louis. They started off this 14 and 0, aren't not they? Bad. Charlie Spoonauer. They got a little guard who was a really nice player. One out of two for Khalid Reeves. It is a six-point ball game. 742 remaining. 69 Arizona, 63 California. We'll be back. Geico built Mike Wallace this great garage. Well, I'm the future of racing. Shouldn't you be in school? The schooling is about to begin, my friend. My way or the highway. Hi! <coughs> oh, you got a cold. You gotta take NyQuil. It'll relieve your symptoms and you'll sleep great. I will. Okay, you'll sleep like a baby or a lamb, like a log. Yeah, you'll sleep like a. Um... Like I would if I didn't have a roommate. Like. NyQuil. The nighttime sniffling, sneezing, coughing, aching, fever, best sleep you ever got with a cold medicine. For daytime symptoms, try DayQuil. The New York Giants are Super Bowl champions. Celebrate their amazing victory with Sports Illustrated's exclusive championship package. Featuring this must-have NFL Films DVD, the New York Giants Super Bowl 42 champions. Plus, this limited edition hardcover commemorative book captures the incredible Giants with SI's famous writing and photography. Go online to SITVOffer.com or call now to get both free with a paid subscription. 56 issues for only $1.59 an issue. Save 64% off the cover price. Use your credit card and get this officially licensed football honoring the champion Giants. Designed exclusively for SI, it features scores from the entire season and includes a display stamp and certificate of authenticity. Don't miss this exclusive offer. Go to SITVOffer.com or call now to get the official DVD, the commemorative book, and the exclusive football. Go online to SITVOffer.com or call 800-950-5200 right now. Welcome back. I'm Tara Capuano. Earlier in the game, we posed this classic trivia question to you. What player holds the Cal record for most points scored in a game? Is it Jason Kidd, the 1994 Pac-10 Player of the Year? Kevin Johnson, who scored over 1,600 points in his career? Ed Gray, who averaged 24.8 points per game in 1997? 
for Sharif Abdul-Rahim, who holds the Cal record for most points scored in a season. The answer is C, Ed Gray, who scored 48 points against Washington State in 1997. Gray scored 36 of his 48 in the second half. A little later in the game, we will look back at the memorable 1995 game between Cal and Arizona. But right now, we return to Cal and Arizona from 1994 here on ESPN Classic. Welcome back. Arizona up by six, but Cal's back in the basketball game mostly because of the defense of Jason Kidd. Look at the spacing here. Khalid Reeves feels like he's open. Jason Kidd just hiding in the weeds down here. David Stoudemire figure he's got an easy entry. The ball comes in, but then watch what happens here. Jason Kidd said, hey, little do -si do Khalid, you're not going to get the ball that easy. And then Jason Kidd all the way to the other end goes with the offhand and scores. And he has been everywhere deflecting passes, diving after loose balls, and keeping his team in a basketball game where they have not flowed well offensively. It's really been an excellent battle between two excellent players, Jason Kidd and Khalid Reeves tonight. Jamison again. Nice little wraparound for Buckley, who's hammered. Jamison gave it up nicely that time. Different player in the second half. You hit a couple of shots, you go, okay, I'm contributing, I'm into this thing. I'm taking some pressure off my man, Lamont Murray. And now the nice control jump stop look, and then Monty Buckley, again, strong to the basket, will let him at the free throw line. One thing Jamison has to be careful of, like Geary, he is playing with four personal fouls. The difference is Geary is on the bench alongside Lee Olsen. Jamison is on the floor for Todd Bozeman, who has no choice. Number 20, Damon Stoudemire, back in the Arizona lineup. Stoudemire. Short blow replaces Corey Williams, so a three-guard offense for Lute Olsen now. Which he usually runs, only it is usually Geary. And Buckley converts. <laughs> 17 for Monty Buckley. Stoudemire for three. A little hard. Buckley high for the rebound. Did a nice job not rolling over. Rolls over, and it's trapped. Jason Kidd for three. Too hard. Good Long rebound. Time. Murray. Murray tried to get it low for Kidd, and Kidd got it on the baseline. It was too far under and backs it out. It's a good reset. Go to Lamont Murray down along the baseline. A clear out for Jamison. They must think he's feeling it. That's the wrong guy in the wrong spot. Had not caught the ball or shot it from there the whole game long. Stoudemire and Khalid Reeves look an awful lot like an NBA game, which is a lot of high pick, screen, and roll. They're so good with the ball. Stoudemire has really become much more of a vocal leader of this team. Buckley passed out. First couple of years, he was here. He was quiet. Not too demonstrative, but now he's the guy. Well, it was Chris Mills' team last year, now moved on to the NBA. Such a great player here at Arizona. And when it's your turn to step up and take more control, the good players want to. Well, the one thing you got to really admire about Lute Olsen, and all the great coaches for that matter, is he lets the system adapt to his players rather than the players adapt to his system. Nice look that time from Geary off the bench, gives it up to Blair. Yeah, everybody got used to thinking about Arizona as these big, tall teams that pounded it inside. But when Lute Olsen went to the Final Four, had Sean Elliott and Anthony Cook and Tom Tolbert and a couple of great guards, and not a real big guy inside. Buckley gets loose underneath, and Jamison gets him the ball. Five-point game, coming down toward the six-minute mark. Nice give again from Reeves that time, and Blair is hammered underneath. Now who got it? If it's Jamison, he's gone, but I think it's Buckley. Well, that was a pretty good catch in traffic by Joseph Blair. Khalid Reeves could have shot that basketball. Jason Kidd going for the shot block from behind, sensed him there, and went for the look inside to Joseph Blair. Buckley now with four personal fouls, and he has been really a good part of the offense for California here in the second half. So he's got four. Jameson's got four. They're both on the floor. Geary has four for Arizona, and he's on the floor. Joseph Blair with nine points rather quietly. And now 10. I have an idea both teams are going to take it to the basket because of the foul situation. Got to continue to be aggressive. Lamont Murray looking for his shot inside. Fall away. He loves that shot. And Kidd gets the rebound. 
Here's Murray again. Spots up for three. Got it. And Geary was running at him. And Lamont Murray just didn't lose concentration. He got a very friendly bounce. Murray with 22, and it's a three-point game. A four-point game. I think if our math is not my major, you might be able to tell. Stoudemire throws it up. Buckley just picked up his fifth foul. And that was designed. Reeves was going right at him. That's just good recognition. You isolate, run at somebody off a pick, make sure you get the matchup you want. Monty Buckley now joins his teammate Randy Duck on the sidelines, and without K.J. Roberts, it becomes a very, very short bench for Todd Bozeman, who is hands on hips, thinking about what move he can possibly make. He doesn't have much. He's got to go with Grigsby. He's got Stewart on the bench. Should Jameson pick up his fifth? And Grigsby, of course, the guy who normally would be a starter, but this is the first game that he has played in about three weeks, and even then he was very limited. K.J. Roberts, of course, not available tonight, nor for the rest of the season, most likely. It is possible he could get back around the time of the playoffs, but by the same token, he could also get a medical redshirt year, and it's going to be a very tough decision for Todd Bozeman to make. Was a point guard when he came in, moved out of position to make room for Jason Kidd, struggled a little bit with it last year, but really worked and came out, had the unfortunate injury earlier, came back up and shooting the ball so very well, unfortunate injury. A queen open for three. Yes! Had a good look. Nice stroke. Five for McQueen. Anwar, Anwar means strong leader, so now it's time for the young freshman to come in and be very strong. Blair, speaking of very strong. Shedding bodies. Temple with this game in the second half. Much more what Arizona has been used to this year. Look down low, kid in traffic draws the foul. And that may be Geary's fifth. It is his fifth personal foul. Hard fought basketball game. Every, every shot contested. Reggie Geary has come out and played such good defense, and it has been a challenge for him. He has guarded Roderick Rhodes. He has guarded Jalen Rose. He has guarded Monty Williams from Notre Dame and consistently done an outstanding job. And when he was matched up early against Lamont Murray in this basketball game, really frustrated Lamont and took him out of the first half offensively. Two teams playing excellent defense. Arizona had not had a player foul out of a ball game this year until just now. And Kidd bangs it off the front rim again. Just two or five at the line for Jason Kidd. Starting to be his time of the basketball game. These are his kind of shots that he needs to make and misses them both. Missed them both, but Grigsby runs down the rebound. Big rebound. Kid for three. Missed that one. And a rebound down to Corey Williams. Significant for Arizona. Stoudemire, wraparound pass for Blair, and we got a foul against Arizona. That's on Stoudemire on the pass off. Just took it one step too far and in an awful lot of traffic gave the ball up to Joseph Blair and is called for the charge off the dish. Here he comes drifting in. There's some contact there. But Ryan Jamison doing a pretty good job of taking the flop and getting the call. Jamison's there. There's no doubt about it. He slides a little bit and down he goes. And they do get the call against Damon Stoudemire. And Stoudemire now has four personal fouls. So both teams walking the tightrope here. And there's plenty of time left, 420. Very interesting to see who Damon Stoudemire is guarding and if Todd Bozeman comes back and tries to isolate and get him out of the game. Jamison knocks down the first free throw. He's got 10. Couldn't get the second one. One out of two, four-point game. Reeves got Jamison in the air, ran right over Grigsby, but was short with the shot. Rebound back to O's. Tough follow won't go. Blair has it swatted away, and it's out of bounds off Lamont Murray. Well, Arizona's just having their way on the offensive glass. O's first, then Blair just clearing out and going after the basketball. Incidentally, we quickly.
criticized Dave Libby a little while ago for calling a quick tee on Randy Duck. He could have called one right there on Lamont Murray. He took a long look and didn't do it. Owes again. And drew the foul on Grigsby. Tell you, Alfred Grigsby showing a lot of courage, but out there on one leg because of the foul trouble that the California Bears, and he is just not ready to go. This is a man who came in from Houston, started as a freshman up at Cal, and just playing on one leg right now. Will be a real factor, however, as this season goes on for California. Four minutes and one second left. 77-73, Arizona. Ray O's has had a big night. Lute Olsen right now during this free throw is changing his matchups. He put Damon Stoudemire over on Anwar McQueen. Very, very smart. McQueen not going to be much of the offense. One out of two at the line. The kid, they clear out for him, and Reeves fouled him. Now they're going to work on Reeves. You can't get the matchup you want against Stoudemire. You just clear out for Jason Kidd, create the contact. This is just everybody go stage left and Jason Kidd going to the right. Khalid Reeves was with him, but just bumped him down below. And Jason Kidd will go some place where he's not very comfortable, and that's the free throw line tonight. Two out of five. Two out of six, I beg your pardon. He gets that one. Kidd gets them both. 3.53 remaining in the ball game, and now it is a three-point game. Arizona 78, California 75. It could be a case of attrition. Taste naturally nutritious. Planters instinctively good. Now I create my own Capital One credit card. Set rewards to cash back. Yes, master. I want to pay my bills online at a low interest rate. Ooh, and I want that photo of me in Aspen. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's it. So many options. Card Lab is genius. <laughs> now you can create your own credit card with your own benefits with Capital One Card Lab. Just go to CapitalOne.com slash Card Lab. With Card Lab, you get to pick the rate you want and the rewards that fit your lifestyle. Select airline miles or cash back. How about double points on all purchases for the first 12 months? Your card is built for you, by you. So customized, you can even put your favorite photo on it. Now, hit the switch! No, it's not. Well, not literally. It's not. So why wait? Just visit CapitalOne.com slash Card Lab to see your creation come to life today. What's in your wallet? It's the ultimate NBA lineup on ESPN Classics Weekend Marathon. Sunday, Magic, Kobe, Shaq, and Michael make history in the NBA All-Star Weekend Marathon. Sunday starting at noon on ESPN Classics. Every Saturday, witness history in the making with live college basketball. This week gets a double header. At 6, Yale versus Pennsylvania. Then at 8, Villanova at St. John's. It's live college basketball, Saturday at 6, only on ESPN Classic. Stoudemire, got it! For three! Good teams coming out of a crucial timeout, set play, getting exactly the shot they need. David Stoudemire with 20, Lamont Murray on the baseline. Tested by 21, Murray. Stoudemire trying to beat McQueen down. Oh. Wrap around, and controlled by Grigsby. Grigsby lost the handle, gets it back, and finally gets it to Kidd. Now here come the Bears. Bears got a chance. Three on three. What a pass by Kidd, but it's off the hands of Murray. It was a tough chance, but he delivered the ball in the only place the play could be made. Low on the left hand, 
and Murray just could not come up with a catch. There is very little space here, and it is there. Lamont Murray knows it. He should have had the ball to finish. 20th turnover for California. Here's Grigsby stepping in front. Grigsby with O's. And he can't get it. The follow by Murray is no good. The follow again by Murray is no good. And Stoudemire comes away with it. Well, write that play down. Grigsby on one leg comes out and gets the steal. He should have pulled it out. In hindsight, gotten a better shot. But great hustle. Four-point lead for the Wildcats. 2.30 remaining. The Arizona ball is 16 seconds. Got to think about Khalid Reeves and Damon Stoudemire's ability at the free throw line. The ball will be in their hands the remainder of this basketball game. Could win it for Arizona at the free throw line. And they shoot at 81% between the two of them. There's the kid went for the steal. Everybody in the house knew he should have had it, and so did he. And he looked up and said, yeah, okay, I missed one. Exactly. Got two seconds. Stoudemire, long three, short. Murray the rebound. Lost that a little track of the clock that time. That one was from 35, and he thought he made it. Anwar McQueen is open. Gets it for three. Big basket. 81-80. The strong leader just hit a huge shot. He was MVP at the McDonald's Classic last year, so is a quality freshman player for Cal. Freshman playing here at the McHale Center. It's the place that can spook you. Oh, they lead O's. They missed everything. A kid, the tough rebound ahead to McQueen, ahead of everybody. Bears! Well, I was going to say they lead it, and he didn't finish it. What a miss, and Jason Kidd goes over and talks to his freshman teammate and says, that's it. The play is done. Forget it. Everybody says, use the backboard, even on the breakaway. Don't go over the front of the rim. Use the backboard because of plays just like that. Cal, very fortunate to get the ball out of bounds. Rayo stepped on the line. We've got a timeout. 135 remaining. Arizona 81, California 80. Back to Tucson after this. Drink responsibly. Get home safely. Guinness, it's alive inside. If you've got over $10,000 in credit card debt and you can't ever see breaking free, then call J. Warren Financial and do it now. Being in over your head is a vicious cycle. J. Warren Financial will work on your behalf to get you out of debt and back on track. This is not bankruptcy. We fight for you using our proven experience and the insider programs that credit card companies try to hide. If you owe at least $10,000 to the credit card companies, you owe it to yourself to call J. Warren Financial at 800-617-5971. The NASCAR Nationwide Series roars into Daytona as NASCAR's big guns go green on racing's biggest stage. The Camping World 300 at Daytona, Saturday at noon. Followed by the new Dale Jr. series, Shifting Gears, on ESPN2. Tonight on ESPN Classic, it's a Valentine's Day massacre. Back-to-back -back bouts featuring Arturo Gatti, one of boxing's toughest fighters. At 8, Gatti versus Rodriguez, no love lost here. See why this title bout from 96 is a real knockout. At 8.30, Gatti battles Ruiz in a classic title bout from 97, the ultimate Valentine's Day bash. See why the experts called it the fight of the year. Gaddy versus Rodriguez at 8. At 8.30, Gaddy takes on Ruelas. It's all tonight on ESPN Classic. If anyone depends on you, listen to this important message. Three out of four Americans know they need life insurance, and many who have it know they don't have enough. Sound like you? How would your family get by without you? Would they lose their home or their dreams of a good education? They don't have to. You can guarantee them $200,000, $500,000, dollars or more with life insurance from AIG American General Insurers. We give you more for your money, up to 75% more. Just look, less than $15 a month buys a 40-year-old man a $250,000 policy. That's up to three times what you can get from other companies for the same price. No wonder more than 19 million Americans are insured with us. We're the number one term insurance company in the U.S. with the financial strength to be there when you need us so you can sleep better at night. For free information, call 1-800-566-5757. Visit AIGTermLife.com or contact your local AIG representative. 
Welcome back. I'm Kara Capuano. Coming into their showdown against Cal in 1995, Arizona was ranked ninth in the country. They were riding a six-game winning streak. Would the streak continue? Stoudemire had been averaging 25 points over the last nine. Uh-oh. Bad sign. He missed nine of 11 in the first half, and Cal did not. Ryan Jamerson and Randy Disco Duck. Cal up by nine at the half on the road. In the second half, the Cats with an 11-0 run. Stoudemire to right. O's. Ooh's 20 points. Under 20 seconds left. Zona down by two. O's the credit for the follow. We're tied at 72. And then in the closing seconds, K.J. Roberts. First basket of the game, and that puts Cal ahead. And then they wrap it up, or do they? The inbounds pass is intercepted by Monty Buckley, and he travels. Uh, premature jocularity. And then one last chance for Zona. Joseph Blair could not handle the inbounds, and Cal wins 74-72. For the second time in 16 days, they beat a leader of the Pac-10. Cal failed to make the NCAA tournament in 1995. Arizona went on to lose in the first round. Let's return to Cal in Arizona from 1994 here on ESPN Classic. Here's the story of this one. 135 remaining. Arizona 81, California 80. Bears have only led once in the ballgame. That was only by one point early in the second half. Cal has one timeout. Arizona with two remaining. Both teams now in a bonus shooting situation. And the possession arrow points to Arizona. Todd Bozeman coaching only his 25th game as a head coach anywhere, let alone at the major college level, has done extremely well in games that are close. 6-0 and oh in games decided by three points or less. So Todd Bozeman doing something right in crunch time. Well, and against some quality opponents, against USC last year, against Arizona, LSU, and Wake Forest. But he's got another one right here. And he only has one time out left for me. Bears will have the ball. And Juan McKee McQueen missed a triple a moment ago. They get it to Murray. And Lota Murray again. Murray draws a crowd. Paying a lot more attention to Jamison and it frees it up for Murray. Nice pass by Jamison, but Murray hit the side of the basket. Cal got what they wanted. Jamison has earned the respect, as you said, and Lamont Murray got the one-on-one -on -one down below but could not make anything happen. Now the Wildcats with the ball and the lead by one. They'll use a little clock. Stoudemire open for three. Short. O's and McQueen fight for the rebound. O's wins the battle. Reeves for three. That's confidence. They had the reset after the good hustle by Ray O's, and he just spotted up and took the three-point shot. Murray for three. Got it. Top shot. Look at this. Back to back. Big three-point shot. And McQueen almost made a very serious error. Almost picked the dribble up too soon. 27 for Murray. That one was impossible. There's a nine-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Arizona with the ball in a one-point lead. And Mar McQueen isolated against Damon Stoudemire, Jason Kidd on Khalid Reeves. Now run it down to 10 and then start the offense. Okay, Lamont Murray's got to keep Ray O's off the backboards no matter what happens on this shot. Here's Stoudemire, got a little out of control. Wrap around from Blair. The strong tough play by the man with the new tattoo just gets into the paint takes the contact and joseph blair who talked him into getting the tattoo says you you tattoo here we go up and in the lead for arizona now how important is this free throw three-point game this of course makes it a two possession game should he convert the free throw and todd bozeman will call his last time out Stoudemire was a little out of control when he first started in the dribble in the lane. Well, Lute Olsen figured the, the worst thing that can happen is that I'll get to the free throw line. There's no way Anwar McQueen from Cal can stop Damon Stoudemire off the dribble penetration without fouling. But he got fouled about three or four times. The referees let play continue, and then Joseph Blair with a big catch and was able to finish. Take another look at this now. Watch, he had a little misstep when he first started. This is what point guards are supposed to do. McQueen's with him right now. Grabs him there. Big contact there. And then Joseph Blair with a strong finish. Stoudemire 
making a big time play at the end of an important basketball game. 11.6 seconds left. Stoudemire in the second half with 18. Reeves in the second half with 16. Remember we said they account for 43 points a game? Well, guess what, folks? They've come off with 40 after having six combined in the first half. Collectively, two of 12 in the floor in the first half. As you said, six points. But still, the biggest free throw of the game yet to come. More than enough time for California. Oh, absolutely. Lamont Murray to hit the three. Anwar McQueen shows that he can hit the three. Really hurts Cal not having uh, Randy Duff, who uh, fouled out very early in this basketball game. So the Bears will have to go with Kidd, Anwar McQueen, Stewart into the ballgame because Jameson was whistled for that last foul, I believe. Michael Stewart, just a freshman. Must be ready to rebound the basketball. He's been sitting on the sidelines for a long time. So Blair with an all-important free throw. Only a 47% free throw shooter on the year. And he missed it. And the Bears have a chance. Here's where they want the ball now. In the hands of Jason Kidd. Kidd for Murray. He's picked up. Fall away from three. He got it! With 3.5 left. Don't go away yet, folks. Lute Olsen will call his last time out. 3.5 seconds left. We're tied at 86. How do you like it? Wouldn't it be nice if everything in life came with a worry-free guarantee? Well, at Renner Center, everything does. With our worry-free guarantee, we'll match any competitor's price on brand new, brand name merchandise. No credit hassles, delivery, setup, and service included. And you gotta love it or your money back. Renner Center. And they're off. We make it easy to make it your own. new gear do you need it we've got it bass pro shops has more of the latest gear for the outdoors at the lowest price guaranteed and for a limited time you can get a bass pro gift card worth up to one thousand dollars free with select 2008 tracker and nitro boats bass pro shops your adventure starts here looks like you're gonna need a fish finder finder You're just too good to be true. Can't take my eyes off you. Looking for the love of your life. Log on to eHarmony.com this Friday through Monday only during our free communication weekend. eHarmony.com. Log on today. Your wallet should be the fat one. Where's those two new flatbread savvies? $2, 200 calories, black Angus steak or balsamic chicken, toasted. Big taste, smaller size. Mmm, Quiznos love what you eat. Clock winding down. That'll go through with just three and a half seconds left and a huge shot. I thought Ray Oz did everything he could do. Played it defensively as well as you could play it. The only option, you go through them when Blair's at the free throw line. Foul Lamon Murray before he even has a chance to get into his shooting motion. Can't score three points from the free throw line. Don't let him ever get into his shooting motion. So now the Bears, we'll see if they pressure the ball here. They're going to have to pretty much throw it end to end, I would think. Well, they don't. They get it to Stoudemire with two seconds, one second. Kidd intercepts the pass, and we will go to overtime. Boy, was that apropos, as they say, Jason Kidd coming up with a steal to silence the building and go into overtime. Boy, did it. It silenced everything. I didn't even hear the horn, as a matter of fact. Tied at 86. We're going five more minutes. Don't go out. We're not getting out. We've proven Shell gasoline stops gunky buildup on critical engine parts that low-quality discount gasoline can leave behind. Where's the next rest stop? Do you have... No. Go fish? Look, Shell gasoline stopped gunky buildup, helping your car to perform at its best. So you ready for another 5,000 miles? Yeah. 
Can we clean up first? <sighs> now clean up the gunk inside your car, too, with collectible microfiber cleaning cloths. Free with a minimum 10-gallon purchase at Shell. He said he had to go to Santa Fe for work. Big conference. Right. You know what's happening. You know he's with another car, driving around, probably to some rock climbing wall or out on an expensive dinner. He'll say it was with a client. It's probably that red Cadillac CTS from Avis. Again. With dozens of the hottest cars to choose from, there's a reason Avis is your other car. The stakes high, the competition hot, but the rewards oh so cool. The Russo and Steel Car Auction, Tuesdays 9 Eastern on ESPN Classic. Every Saturday, witness history in the making with live college basketball on ESPN Classic. This week, it's Yale versus Pennsylvania and Villanova at St. John's. Holy cow! At six, in Ivy League matchup, Yale looks to climb the conference standings with an upset win against Penn. Stands at home. Then at eight, it's a Big East showdown. Scotty Reynolds meets Villanova against St. John's. It's live college basketball. Yale versus Penn at 6. Villanova at St. John's at 8. Saturday, only on ESPN Classic. Do you have too much body fat? It tends to accumulate on your stomach, hips, and thighs. And over the years, it gets worse. The Obesity Research Institute has found the solution. It's called Lipozine. Lipozine is clinically proven to help reduce your body fat and weight. And to raise awareness about this weight loss breakthrough, the company is letting people try Lipozine risk-free for 30 days. A recent major university double-blind study showed that not only did participants lose weight, but 78% of each pound that was lost was pure body fat. It's so easy. Just take Lipozine. That's it. Lipozine is now available over the phone direct from the manufacturer. Call now to try Lipozine risk-free for 30 days for only $29.95. Call in the next 10 minutes and we'll double your order and include your shipping absolutely free. This offer is not available in pharmacies or drugstores. Remember, Lipozine is clinically proven to reduce your body fat and weight or we'll refund your entire purchase price. Welcome back. I'm Tara Capuano. Jason Kidd brought immediate respectability to the Cal basketball program. Kidd was an old-school point guard, always looking to pass first, score later. Here's Shelly Smith with a look back at Jason Kidd in this Sports Center report from 1993. All my passes are amazing. A lot of my passes, I think, shot myself. Sometimes I'm wondering if the, uh, my teammates are going to move or if they're going to make me look bad. I think most of my passing uh, shocks me the most. Shocks you? Yeah, because sometimes I wonder if, if Magic Johnson is not throwing that pass or something because I pattern my game after him. A lot of people watch Jason Kidd and wonder the same thing. He has always emulated Magic's game and so far also is emulating Magic's success. Kidd was last year's National High School Player of the Year and was named MVP of a Bay Area League, which included NBA veterans Chris Mullen and Gary Payton. The legend builds. I feel that everybody's watching me and everybody's expecting me to go out and have 30 points and 20 assists or 10 rebounds and always have a triple-double, but that's not going to happen because I'm human. There are a lot of things expected of Jason Kidd. One is that he'll fill Harmon Jim every game. But the biggest may be that Jason Kidd is expected to take Cal back to the glory years of Pete Newell and into their first Final Four appearance in 32 seasons. I felt they had the ball players to be a contender in the Pac-10 and even in the tournament. Uh, I think, oh, well, I know I said that they can be in the Final Four in two years, and I think that's a realistic goal. He's ambitious, and we're ambitious, uh, and uh, I, I hope uh, he turns out to be a good prophet. Kid is just a freshman. Cal starts two freshmen and two sophomores. And yes, he makes freshman mistakes. One of the biggest adjustments he must still make is learning to play with teammates unaccustomed to his court acumen. He'll find you in situations where a lot of guards really wouldn't be able to find you. And um, you just got to be aware of the ball and be ready to score when he gets it to you. Kidd has already attained celebrity status in the Bay Area. Cal moved five games to the Oakland Coliseum to accommodate fans, and Kidd admits that he sometimes disguises himself to avoid the public pestering. But I find myself not going out as much into the public because people always want to talk or, or ask for an autograph and treat me like a celebrity. But I think it's a little bit too early to put me on that pedestal. 
it's unusual, you know, for, you know, and he's been doing it since he's been in high school, you know, so he's got a lot of signatures floating around. And the value of those signatures may soon rise. There was speculation that Kidd would turn pro after high school, and there is speculation now that his career at Cal could be very short-lived. But Kidd insists he wants his degree first. There's no chance you're going to go pro before you get your degree. No, not at all. If he does that, I'm going to be one happy man, and I think he's going to be one complete basketball player. In Berkeley, California, Shelly Smith, ESPN. Kidd left Cal after his sophomore season. He was drafted by the Mavericks in the 1994 NBA draft with the second pick overall. Let's return to the exciting conclusion of Cal in Arizona from 1994 here on ESPN Classic. Barry Tompkins with Paul Sunderland at the McHale Center here in Tucson, Arizona, California, 86, Arizona, 86. Both teams have done everything that could be asked of them at crunch time. Lamont Murray's 20, what'd you say, about 26 feet? <laughs> it was distance, but it was easy for him. What a courageous performance by Cal. They lose K.J. Roberts, lose Randy Duck early to foul trouble. Monty Buckley plays big before he fouls out. Arizona's backcourt has come up so huge in the second half. And, of course, Richard Gary on the bench with five fouls for Arizona. And this man, Jamin Stoudemire, with four. O's got a man in the air. Missed the shot. And fight for the rebound. Joe Blair, big rebound. Michael Stewart, just a freshman in the game, not ready to play with Blair, and it creates the second opportunity. Khalid Reeves makes him pay. Three-point shot, three-point lead. Reeves with 23 now. Murray, hook shot from way out there. Stewart, the follow, won't go. Blair, the rebound. Two on two. Reeves went down hard and was hurt. Khalid Reeves is hurt. Jason Kidd says, wait a minute. Looked like a turned ankle, probably stepped on Jason Kidd's foot. Khalid Reeves was running down to the baseline to clear out to the other side. Kidd had cut him off, and as so often happens, you step on an opponent's foot and roll an ankle. Huge loss should Reeves have to sit for any appreciable length of time. A reminder, of course, Sports Center will follow. That is coming up next. And if Khalid Reeves' ankle was minor, he would be in the basketball game. If it was major, he would stay in. So he must really be hurting. And it looks like he's going to the locker room, or at least to be examined by, at the end of the bench by the medical staff. He's just going to kind of walk this off. That would be a huge loss for Arizona. Stoudemire. And the rebound. Stewart knows fight for it. Oh, almost got that up over the top of the freshman Stewart. Talk about welcome to the big time for Michael Stewart. Freshman out of Northern California, highly regarded, very talented, but now is the time to make a couple of plays. They play Rigdon on Kidd now. Remember, Stoudemire with four personal fouls. But Anwar McQueen is playing Stoudemire. And without Ryan Jamison in there to hit the jump shot, what happens out of the double team to Lamont Murray? Well, you saw what happened the last time down. Exactly right. Ten seconds left. Kidd for three, it won't go. Not a good shot by Jason Kidd. Well, there's only two players out there who can score, really, Anmar McQueen, if you include him, and I think he's very capable. He's hit a couple of big shots. It's a very stale possession by Cal. Wildcats will use a little bit of the clock. And they're gonna grab foul. They're gonna get Achilles Jones grabbing Rigdon going through. Jones, fifth-year senior here at Cal. California lost the game here four years ago by one point. A game that, of course, the Bears feel they should have won. And of all the players on the floor here, uh, Kelly Jones is the only one that was here then. But it was his redshirt season. Todd Bozeman talking to his backcourt besides Jason Hill. No fouls like that. No cheapies away from the ball, particularly against a player like Dylan Rigdon, who's 81% from the free throw line and just pure. That game back in 1990, about which we spoke, was the last overtime game here at the McHale Center. And it's a five-point Arizona lead. Bears cannot afford an empty possession. McQueen steps in and gets it. Boy, he is good, and I like having Lamont Murray and Anwar McQueen on the same side of the court. Then you can threaten inside, outside against the double team. Back to a three-point game. Wildcats with the ball. 
Stoudemire playing with four fouls. Reeves back in the game. Lost the handle, and it's off Reeves, they say. With Reggie Geary having fouled out, Khalid Reeves really forced to come back into the basketball game for Lute Olsen. Does not appear to be favoring the ankle right now. Here's Lamont Murray, and Ose comes out with it. McQueen for three. Yes! Anwar McQueen, MVP. Strong leader, Anwar doing it in overtime. 13 points. Making amends for the triple that he missed. Tied at 91, 225 remaining. Stewart inside. Joseph Blair is available if they'll clear out and give him some room to operate. Rigdon got in the air and got the roll. I'm not even sure he wanted to shoot that ball. Uh, he got Butcher going to the basket and stayed strong. 14 for Rigdon. Boy, start pointing to heroes here. You can point to almost anybody on the floor right now. Penetration by Kidd and a kick out for Murray. Get the ball to McQueen. McQueen wants the ball. He's got the hot hand. Off some penetration, and McQueen spotting up. Kidd, short. Rigdon underneath. Kidd's perimeter shooting, not getting it done. Here's Reeves, beat everybody. But didn't get the basket. O's with a great offensive rebound. But he loses it to McQueen. Two on one for the Bears now. McQueen to Kidd, to the basket. Tied at 93. Anwar McQueen got the start tonight. It was understandably... Very nervous coming into the McHale Center, but in the second half, he has really played well. Yeah, he's really gotten it under control. Stoudemire changes directions on McQueen, pulls up, won't go, and a rebound Murray, and the Bears with a chance to take the lead with a minute and five seconds left in overtime. Five-second call when you're dribbling the basketball. Lamont Murray going to get a clear out and screen. Fall away. Foul on O's. Boy, as hot as Anwar McQueen is, I would really like to see he and Lamont Murray on the same side of the court. McQueen on the outside. Lamont Murray posting up. And just play inside, outside. You're going to get a good shot. Interesting that Murray has 30 points in the ball game, And this is the first time he's been to the free throw line. Two. One out of two, Bears by one. Reeves will walk it across the timeline. And Cal goes to the zone, try to take away penetration. Very good move, I think, by Todd Bozeman. Make somebody else beat you. Good recognition, though, by the Wildcats. There's a trap. And they got him. That five-second call comes into play. Terrific defensive effort by the Bears. Ray O's just unable to read the situation, give up the basketball. And now Lute Olsen facing a loss here for only the third time in 102. 94-93, Bears with the ball. We'll be back. So far ahead, its intelligent CBT transmission redefines smooth acceleration. Its dual panel moonroof brings light to everyone. It sees traffic in real time and controls your iPod just like an iPod. So far ahead, the rest of the world will have to catch up. Introducing the future of the crossover here now. The all new 2009 Nissan Murano. LT and the boys are playing again tonight. There are no refs, just timekeepers. It's time for Campbell's Chunky. 
Party soups packed with beef, chicken, or sausage to feed an NFL-sized hunger. Hey, nice hit for a quarterback. Campbell's Chunky, meals that fill you up right. You won't see them prancing in the end zone or preening for the cameras. Nope. They're too busy defending their turf and sometimes wearing it. All in the name of protecting the quarterback, the offensive lineman. Guys like Nasty, Stink, Jumbo, and Jimbo. State Farm salutes the centers, the guards, the tackles. Because we know there's no substitute for great protection. Taste naturally nutritious. Planters instinctively good. Back to Tucson in a second, but first this update. Rudy Washington of the Black Coaches Association is calling for a boycott of college basketball games on Saturday unless significant progress can be made tomorrow in a meeting with the Black Congressional Congress in Washington uh, regarding the battle with the NCAA over basketball scholarships. Washington said, quote, the situation is right on the verge of being nuclear. He did not state which coaches or teams might be involved in a boycott, but some teams do play on Saturday. John Thompson's team, John Cheney's, Nolan Richardson's, Clem Haskins, and George Ravling's all involved. Sports Center with more information on this situation right after the game. Let's go back to Tucson. All right, thanks very much, Chris. That story, of course, will go on, certainly through the weekend and probably considerably longer. Stoudemire has picked up his fifth foul. He's gone. Murray will go to the line with 24.9 seconds left. The other thing that was interesting too, Paul, which I had not heard before, talking to the officials here before, and they said there was a conference call amongst yeah. officials, not only in the Pac-10, but apparently throughout the country. And if there is a boycott, the rule is, or what they have decided, I don't suppose there is a rule for this, it is a loss. If one team walks and the other team lines up to play, it is a loss for that team. If they both walk, it is a loss for both teams. Not a very difficult situation all around. And scholarships being dropped from basketball. There was a chance to reinstate one and financial issues all throughout the country. Corey Williams Corey will come into the ball game for Lute Olsen. The Bears now can be the masters of their own fate here. Although there is plenty, repeat, plenty of time, just short of 25 seconds. It cannot be any more than a three-point game. So it remains a one-possession game. And, of course, once again, a reminder that we will be getting right to Sports Center as soon as this one is over at the McHale Center. Murray gets them both. Three-point lead Bears. Murray with 33. 22 seconds left. Khalid Reeves. you got to think about Dylan Rigdon here. He's been productive all night long. Very, very good three-point shooter. Cal stays in the zone. Shot clock is off. There it is. Now rigged in again with six seconds. Reeves got a man in the air, stepped in, had it swatted away by McQueen. Achille Jones controls it. Foul called on Reeves. With one second left. Arizona has only lost the one Pac-10 conference team here. That also was on a buzzer beater by Martin of UCLA. Looking for penetration. Arkansas. Excuse me, Barry. Looking for penetration. Khalid Reeves fakes off the ground. The Cal defense with the quick hands of Anwar McQueen. Different players have stepped up for Arizona to go out to the lead. Khalid Reeves has been solid. Damon Stoudemire, Dylan Rigdon. But then it has been the California Bears. Anwar McQueen hits a couple of big threes. And Lamont Murray with a big-time shot to send us into overtime. And boy, did it quiet the crowd, which now starts to head for the exits. Jones puts it away. Huge, huge victory for Todd Bozeman and the Bears. And I want to give credit to Todd Bozeman. Didn't show the zone defense at all in the second half. Showed it in probably the most crucial possession of the, set of the overtime period. And he got a mental lapse out of Ray O's. The game is over. California has defeated the Arizona Wildcats in Tucson to a stunned crowd at the McHale Center. Final score, the California Golden Bears 98, the Arizona Wildcats 93. That's
That's a wrap for us. For Paul Sutherland, I'm Barry Tompkins. Sports Center is coming up. Cal lost in the first round of the NCAA tournament to Wisconsin Green Bay, while Arizona would make it to the Final Four before losing to eventual national champion Arkansas in the national semifinals. That wraps up Cal and Arizona from 1994. A reminder, for more information on our ESPN Classic programming, log on to ESPN.com and type in the keyword Classic. For ESPN Classic, I'm Kara Capuano. Thanks for watching.